Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and today I'm bringing you guys a money scheme ish money play. It's more leaning towards money plays than a whole scheme. You can you can be successful with this scheme, but it's only like one or two plays with a couple setups. That it's not it's not that intricate. It's not that crazy, but it will it will help you guys move the ball. And yeah. Now, the reason why I'm bringing you guys this is because if you guys don't know, the Madden Challenge is pretty much about to start. Uh, the online portion of the tournament is already over. Now, the live event is going to be coming up soon. I don't know the date, but it is coming up soon, so make sure you guys look out for that. Support support the tournaments because, you know, as a competitive player, the more support we have, the better. But the Mutt Draft, if you guys don't know what that is, is uh, it's... The draft champions, if you guys have heard of that, Mutt Drafts, you draft a team, you get three random playbooks in that. And when I was when I was during during the online portion of it, I ended up drafting with the Los Angeles playbook. Now I drafted with the Los Angeles playbook because I was hoping to get a a team that fits trips tight end. I did not get a team that fit the trips tight end meta. So I, I ended up drafting two tight ends. And I had to lab a couple different plays, a couple different formations, and that's what I'm bringing you guys today. We're going to be coming out of Wing Stack. Before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe, dislike, unsubscribe, do whatever it is you got to do, man. I'm bringing you guys content, and that's pretty much all I care about. <clears throat> so, without further ado, we're going to be looking at two plays. And the first play we're going to be looking at is PA Curl Post, because this is a decent cover three type of coverage that we can... We can sort of bomb if you have a fast enough tight end. During my draft, I ended up drafting Kittle, but actually no. Ah, screw it, screw it, screw it. Let's just let's just call this PA curl post. And during my draft, I ended up drafting Kittle. So this is kind of like the worst team to actually run this with. But what you're gonna want what you're gonna want to do with this specific formation is you're gonna want to fade your tight end. If you have a fast enough tight end, he will be able to get over the top of the defense. Fade your tight end and your Y receiver or your triangle receiver, you're just going to want to put them on a drag. And that is literally it. You guys can quick hike people and all that stuff. You can also motion your square receiver out to kind of make it to kind of add a little more separation. Now, what you what you're pretty much doing is it's it's pretty much a flood concept. By flood concept, I mean that you pretty much have to pick and choose who you want to throw to. Now, that's that's the. That's the back end route that if they start using the bottom routes, like the drag route or that corner route, uh, you'll end up having that post coming from the backside open almost every single time against a cover three. Now, if they use that, that's that's on the user. You're not supposed to throw at the person's user, but, you know, if they use that, that's it. So this is what the play is going to look like. And what's what makes this formation so dangerous is the run plays in it. You have possibly one of the best inside zones. And as you can see open for a nice gain of about 20 30 yards i'm actually going to show the replay on that what makes this formation so dangerous is the inside zone and the halfback power oh now i'm just going to run an inside zone here and as you can see like it's you can literally just run straight through the gap a nice little tip if you guys are running the ball don't accelerate until you get past the line of scrimmage um there is a glitch going on going around with that with the aggressive uh pat run blocking or pass like one of the coaching adjustments where if you don't hit turbo, you will not get caught on an aggressive uh, pass block, and you won't get called for holding. Little, that's a little, that's a little pro tip for for those of you guys who who don't play competitively like that. But let's get back to the passing play. Out of this, um, this is pretty much what you're gonna want to do. You do not have to motion this guy out. The play will work the same way, re regardless if you guys are motioning him out or not. I just had to switch it up to a cover three real quick because I did call a cover two. Now as you can see. Oh, the, sh the shed ended up coming in. The shed ended up coming in. Do not, do not kill me for that. But the shed, the shed sometimes comes in. Y'all know how EA works. But also, you guys are, are gonna want to cancel the play action too because that also makes it a little more difficult for you guys to run the play. Now, this is how the play is gonna look like. Square is gonna be open, as you can see. Square is open, and we end up getting a nice gain for about what 30 yards right there yeah that's a nice 30 yard gain because we're at the 40 yard mark uh, let's run it a couple more times and then i'll show you guys the cover two beater there are two cover two beaters that i i, I kind of labbed up and i like to run and they're actually really effective because it brings down the safety and on top of that um 
when you're playing Madden nowadays, you pretty much want to replicate the routes that people create out of uh, out of uh, bunch and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Let's call timeout real quick just so I can get into the cover two routes. There's two different setups to beat a cover two that I figured out. I don't know if anybody else runs this formation, but if you do and you guys have any type of setups, hey, please let me know. Um, it's out of the same play, the PA curl post, and on defense, we're going to call it cover two. So let's call it cover two press, and we're going to call it curl post. Now, what you're going to want to do with this, now, this makes it extremely difficult for anybody who's running this on defense or running or playing against this on defense because you're going to be motioning in your, your, uh, your tight end. Now, unfortunately, we do not have a faster tight end that can actually, you know, burn anybody which is which kind of sucks because that actually makes the play a lot better but we also have these two routes now it, this is sort of kind of similar to what happens in the uh in pa post shot out of out of the tight flex form formation this is what the this is what the play design is going to be and out of cover two your both routes will get above a cover two. Oh, we don't have time to throw it unfortunately but we did have square open and we did have uh oh coming open because the the cloud flat would have ended up coming down now he ends up staying back but the cloud flat would have ended up co coming down to play that now this is open clearly you can always take your drag don't forget that don't get too don't don't get too happy to to sit there and try to bomb somebody deep all the time but you can always take your drag now if they had a deep blue the deep blue will follow this right here it will it will not guard this the deep blue will follow the fade going all the way up that's why you want a faster tight end this is kind of more of a scheme for anybody that uses like the giants on in regs with evan ingram or you know if you guys are playing mutt with kittle or shannon sharp or anybody or anybody like that you know what i mean so this route right here is kind of like the pat sale route it, it obviously isn't as good because you're running it with a tight end but it, it will get over the top of this cornerback it kind of it, it is over it is over the top of the cornerback, but you, you would just have to kind of fade it up around, you know, aim your aim your left stick up and to the right a little bit just so you could kind of aim it over here instead of aiming it, you know, to the sidelines where he has a po uh, the possibility of picking it off. Now, let's run it one more time, see if we could get... Oh, I don't want to quit. Let's run it one more time to see if we could get the play to work as properly as possible. This time, I'm actually going to take the take the d-line and we are gonna whatchamacallit and i'm actually gonna put a deep blue just so you guys just so you guys can see that it, it's not gonna guard that post route either so we're gonna fade gates that's what the play looks like so far and then we're gonna drag keenan allen now keenan allen is actually our skilled receiver so hopefully hopefully our other guy can do the trick now both of them are open you can rat catch that and look boom that outside post over the top destroys it so you have it's kind of like a flood it's kind of like a flood concept with a post route which is kind of which is kind of interesting i'm actually going to show the replay on that one more time and then we're going to get to the other cover two beater once i run it one more time for you guys now we got the drag route now this actually gets this is actually unbumpable because of the way that he goes but he bumps into his own lineman which is kind of if they're man if they're manning that play up that that tight end is kind of screwed but luckily for you guys most of the time they're not going to man up the inside tight end let's be honest who on defense is doing that that's a tricky tricky that's a that's a weird defensive adjustment if you man up the guy lined up on the inside of the two receivers on the outside most of the time they're going to man up the guys that are on the outside not the not the fat tight end that's just chilling on the inside so he ends up getting bumped unfortunately which which it does kind of suck but he does he does end up getting over as you can see the cornerback has to guard that route so if any more time is given we can fade that up over here and we have the dot on top of that we have the post route right in the middle of the field literally there for a complete laser the fade brings up any any blues that are on the field and then you got this route right here that is able to be wide open with nothing but green with nothing but green in front of them and that's not even that's not even that's not even our best receiver on the chargers but still you know what i mean so let's run it one more time and then i'll show you guys the other play i don't want to take up too much of your time but this is kind of like a mini scheme i told you guys that i was bringing you one so i figured i'd do it also if you guys want a deeper route you can also smart route your uh this this little tight end route 
if you're if the line of scrimmage is up higher than 10 yards you guys can smart route him and he'll end up moving up more than 10 yards as you can see it's moving up just a just a tad bit higher uh but yeah now let's let's run it one more time cover two. Oh, let me change the let me change the defensive line real quick and we're gonna put a deep blue just so you guys can see we're running a cover two base of line like always and now now that o route look at the o route i'm throwing it to the o route completely completely torches cover two and you had the post and the other route so like whichever one is, is there you you can kind of use the other one to kind of use it as a blocker um so if you if you end up throwing it to o you can use that guy you can use that guy as kind of a blocker if he ends up catching it. As you can see, you catch it, and then he's already there to to you know to make the block. Boom! Touchdown, Hunter Henry. GGS. All right, let's get let's get right into the next play. I don't want to take up too much of your time, even though I, I kind of have already. But still, if you guys are looking for something unique and new to run on Madden, this is definitely something that you guys can. And kind of dabble in because if you look at the runs you got a great inside zone if you if if the guys are kind of set offset i had amigos joke but i'm not gonna say it if the guys are kind of set offset the inside zones are really really dangerous to use you got a power oh and i think and you have an oh one trap this this formation for running is literally is is amazing honestly so last play last but not least is double cross and all you're gonna want to do is two things this is this kills a lot of a lot of different uh a lot of different coverages and the reason being is if you guys you guys all play mutt obviously you guys all play madden or else you guys wouldn't be here now let's line it up on the right hash mark because we are going to be throwing that corner out it's kind, it's kind of like the same concept you're pretty much getting above the deep blue but the beautiful thing about this this specific play well, let me let me change our lineman the beautiful thing about this specific play oh let's put our guy in a deep blue because you know that's what everybody runs is cover two with the deep blue the beautiful thing about this play is if you guys run curl flat out of the patriots playbook or double sales out of the trips tight end playbook this corner route that williams is on literally gets deep enough to beat any coverage they need to have a curl flat over there as you can see he's deep enough to beat any coverage and that's going to be a bomb for you guys almost every single time unless he's manned up and even if they are manned up or if they end up matching like you can still beat that route if your receiver is good enough to do so so all you have to do streak or fade your triangle or y route and then cancel the running back motion and that's all you have to do you do that, you'll have enough time. My man is literally getting getting beat over the top, and once again, possession catch that if you're if you're not close to getting uh, a rack and a rack animation and GGS that will be a nice what is that a nice thirty yard dot once again. Simple, easy. You guys can run this at will. No, like it's very very hard to stop because they have to be able to stop the run game if you're facing somebody that can't stop the run game by all means audible to an inside zone and run it down their throats if they can't stop it it's run it down their throats look at the blocking <laughs> look at the blocking look at the blocking just run it down their throats man it, it's simple it's a simple game it's a simple game but you guys just got to learn the, the basics on it man one more time streak boom Look at Square. Square ends up just getting wide open. Touchdown. Touchdown. And I'm going to show you uh, the replay on that one more time before I head out of here because this is this is pro this is possibly the best play in this in this playbook, honestly. In this formation. You got this that's that's open automatically. As you can see, he's waving his hand, like throw it to me. This route gets open. Now most users they end up trying to chase the drag down. And then they'll come back and try to guard this right here. But then this ends up, this route, the, the deep corner route ends up wide open. And you put, oh, oh let me go back. And you put your uh, your triangle receiver or Y receiver on a on a streak for the simple reason that it it makes the safety who's in a deep blue, it makes them react to it. Now, if they are in a cover three, you can also run this. This will get over that too, unless they're playing quarters. If they're playing quarters like uh, like press quarters, it will guard this corner out a little bit better than it they do in cover two and a regular cover three, with like deep halves or your regular deep blues. 
But anyways, man, I don't want to take up too much of your time. My name is Pony Montana. Make sure you guys check out the this formation. I will leave a link down in the description below showing you guys where you can find the specific play. And yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the scheme. Let me know if you run this already. Let me know if you're going to try this out. If you do and you like it, make sure you come back, smash that like button times two. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Pony Montana. As always, two fingers, you guys. Deuces. Peace.